In this video, we will be exploring how to use automations and tasks and reminders. So first, let's take a look at how to use and set up tasks and reminders. So tasks and reminders is going to allow you to create tasks for yourself or other team members. To set up a task, you can set it up a few different ways. You can set it up for a specific client. You can also set it up for a specific trip or just create a general task that's not attached to a client or a trip. To view and create these, you can do it in multiple areas. So if you're trying to set up a task for a contact for a client, you would just go into your contacts, click on their contact profile, and then you'll see the tasks modal right in here in their profile where you'll be able to add new ones for them. If it's a task for a trip, you can always click into the trip from your trip dashboard. And when you click on it on the right hand, the sidebar, you'll see the option to expand tasks and automations. Click on that and in here is where you'll be able to see your tasks and you can also add new ones right in here as well. If you need to set up a task that's not specific to a trip or a client, you can always view those and set those up by clicking on that dashboard, that, that clipboard in the top of your dashboard here, and you can always create one really quickly, or you can click view all tasks, and this is where you'll be able to see everything as well. So now let's talk about how to use automations. These work with your tasks where you can set up forms and a trip invite or an itinerary or proposal send to a client. So this is great to use when you need to set and forget something or, you know, if you need to send something out the next day and you don't want to forget, this is a great way to do it. So if you ever want to set up an automation for a client specifically, you can always go again directly into their contact profile and click add and then choose automation. From here, you'll be able to set it up by sending a form directly to them. And you can also schedule that date and the time as well in there. If you want to set up an automation for a trip, Click in the trip in your trip dashboard and go back to the tasks and automations. Click add and then choose automation. From here, you'll be able to specify who you want to send it to. And you can also choose if it's just a trip invite, you're sending the trip itself or if it's a form. And then you can also choose message and then the custom date as well. Another great tool is creating an entire trip task list. You can set up a trip task list in your library by going into your library, click new library item in the top left hand corner, and then you're going to choose task list. From here, this is where you can set up multiple tasks, whether it's two tasks or 20 or more. And this is a great way to set up tasks that you'll always need to remember to do. And then you can set it up with a contact or a trip. Let me show you what I mean by this. So if I go to a trip, I'm going to click on a week in Rome and I'm going to set up my pre and post task list that I've already created. So I'm going to go ahead and click add and I'm going to choose task list. I'm going to choose my pre and post. And you will see that they automatically come in here. Now we have other videos on how to set up trip task lists, as well as providing free trip task lists that you can grab from our library sharing gallery. This is just a great way, again, to be able to set things and never forget a thing. You also can open up your Travify Pro app on your mobile device, and you can view all of your tasks in there as well as set up tasks on the go. This is a great way that when you are, you know, away from your computer, you can go ahead and see what's due today. You'll also get notified on that mobile app, and then you also can just quickly set up things. So again, you never forget a thing. So thank you so much for watching and make sure to check out more of our getting started videos.